Tina, Tina right Marie, back. so Tina. so black. Oh. Or not. No, that's, no. that's Tanisha Marie. Oh, wow. oh. I was just going with Tina. She has some great music. She, she, she's, she's great. great. Now, I was running this back and I was telling you why I um, brought on Tina Marie Square Biz. Yes, yes. To kick off the show with Shay J. Can we give Shay J a round of applause? Yeah, yeah. Super excited to be here. How are you feeling? I think you said you're under the uh, I am. I'm sick and it's I right. hate it. I don't get sick often, so when I get sick, it like knocks me it's out. Right. No, it's not alright. Make an agreement with your body, give it three days, and then boom. Alright, that's the agreement, body. Three days. Three days boom. is all you have. So you have so one more day left. One, one more, more time. day. Um, but yeah, exactly. speaking of Tina Marie and um, Square Biz, mm -hmm. and I said uh -huh. so, so black. <laughs> and I said so, so not. Okay. okay. Um, as we get into this and get ready to go back and forth about this, mm -hmm. um, I need you to hit them with the trigger alert. I will do that. Mm -hmm. This is a show that triggers people because you have entered a free think zone. That's right. If you are not willing to be exposed to others' point of view, tune out now. And don't read the comments. You have been warned. You right have now. been right. warned. <laughs> Say le a advertido. That Boom. <laughs> that oh, my Espanol yeah. family. There you go. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's necessary. It's familiar. Come on, familiar. Familia. Familia. And a barigani for my Afrocentric family okay. that's still representing the Nguzu Saba. I say, I say. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> Tina Marie. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of folks were upset, I think, uh, because J Lo, mm -hmm. Jennifer Lopez, mm -hmm. um, she headlined or was the face of the Motown tribute on the Grammys Awards. Did you watch the Grammys? Oh, I watched. Oh, and, okay. I watched. So, um, J Lo, yes, you know, folks yes. were like in their feelings. Let me tell you this J -Lo. about J Lo and that Motown. Kind of, I mean, even before the show started. Right. There, there was, was like, thing oh, like, oh, hell no. But then Motown started hiding it and kind of saying she wasn't going to be the face of it. So then people start getting back okay with it again. They're like, oh, okay, we don't see her on the lineup. They're like, well, they might sneak this in, but she, she wasn't even on the lineup anymore. Really? Motown, yeah, started kind of brushing it off. Like, no, she's not doing the whole tribute. No, it's not Well, well J-Lo did a great job. She did a great job. She absolutely did a great job. And I absolutely did not appreciate that it was her doing the great job. So, well, I'm not okay with it. You're not okay, I'm not okay with, it? with it. She did a great job, and I'm not okay with it. Well, so I can be honest and say she did a great job. See, my thing when we talked, uh, I was talking to John Bowman, and I said, well, if Tina Marie is, I mean, J Lo, if J Lo is going is to do the Tina Motown Marie? tribute, uh -huh. I, I had some recommendations. I said that she should probably grab Stevie Wonder mm -hmm. by the hand, right, right, walk him to the stage, right, get him prepared to sing, absolutely, go and sit down in the audience, yes, and give Stevie Wonder some love, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so she but, had Neo. But 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 she didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. But she took part of my recommendation. The Motown representative was Smokey Robinson. Great, great choice. I love that. So great Smokey, choice. Smokey held it down for <laughs> J Lo. And then also she brought on other artists. Right. And she sung in her range. Which like, was Excellent. Whoever put that together, great PR skills, okay? You did not want to out her because we know she can't sing like that. So great judgment call on adding like a little Alicia Keys, add a little Neo, making sure she didn't have to hit any real notes. Great judgment call. I mean, However, it was a team. I wasn't it, okay with her doing it. It was a team effort. Great job. And, and so she didn't sing outside of her range. And no. I was nervous that she was going to try and touch on some of the hollowed ground of Motown. Right. But coming in and singing Square Biz, yeah. that's a She's karaoke in the rain. favorite. I get it. You She's know, everybody in the rain. can do. She didn't do too everybody much. Everybody can do yeah. um, Square Biz. That brings you up to 1981. <laughs> you know, so. So anybody and everybody can like, do that. You know, Tina Marie was the face of Square Biz. Right. And she sung it well. Sense. But yes. everybody can sing Square Biz. Right. If you can't sing, you can sing Square Biz. Absolutely. And if you can't sing it, you can wait till it gets to the part know, where you can where sing you can it. Rap yeah, it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So she did a great job. She did a great job. And the dancing was phenomenal. Uh, it was. It was on point. The whole production of it, number, number one, whatever J-Lo touches is usually phenomenal. She did a great She's job. She's great at knowing how to keep it looking a certain way and looking hot. She's the face of But folks sexy. are still saying but boo. No, Oh, boo! 
But no. I'm with you, folks. I'm right with you. No. You got it. J Lo, you did your thing. J Lo, you did your thing, and another <coughs> a sister could have did her thing, and I would have been very much okay with that. Oh. Can we have something for ourselves, please? Oh. Well, we Motown. can see an acceptable sister, though. Why? Puerto Rican is on the cusp, right? They're black. They are. And we they want are. them to be black, but they're not black. But they're not. For Motown? No, they're right. So I didn't want her to carry the whole entire being. I didn't want her to carry the whole entire being. I wanted to see somebody else carry it. I would not. Now, she would have been a splash in that, cool, but I just feel like we don't have that many opportunities to showcase our talent, especially when it comes to these big award shows. So this is one platform, finally, where a sister can have the, the chance to showcase her talent. Well, you we don't have thing, a lot of The options. thing about entertainment. Not because I don't like Jay Blow, but no, no. we don't have that many. People. But the thing about entertainment is not who has the best talent or who's most right. prepared. It's who we has the best is. agent and connection. Absolutely. And so for her to headline the Grammys means that whoever she Managing her, she has, yeah, her team has some cool. real dope connections. Absolutely, but she can dance. Oh yeah, her background oh, yeah. dancers was making phenomenal, her sweat. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Those, those background Jello dancers. Was bad. That's we know that hands down. So that's why you couldn't be too mad because she did an exceptional job. So we'll give it up to her for that part. And you know, yeah. and then, you know the part where she did the uh, Michael Jackson part, shake it, shake it, baby. Yeah, she was she shaking. She just turned it around and shake it. Sh you liked that, huh? That was good. I thought it was really good. I know you did. I know you did. You know, I wasn't no, trying to say anything no. different. But everybody can also, <laughs> you can also, um, you can also sing Michael Jackson. Everybody can sing the early Michael Jackson songs because he was like eight. Right. You know, it's there's not no, out your range. There's, there's no range for eight. There's no range you know, for eight. I, I mean, so she was perfect. She was perfect to put in that spot. That shake it, shake it, baby. That got to him. See, she was perfect. She was perfect. Okay, so if you watch, you know, if you watch the NFL, which I don't, and when I used to watch football prior, uh, before Kaepernick, mm -hmm. um, you know, if your if your starting quarterback goes down, your backup, even if they're not talented, you just don't open the playbook wide open. You just try to get them a few first downs and get in the punter's lane or the kicker's lane to kick that 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 field goal so you can get to that locker room. Mm -hmm. J Lo made some first that. down. She did that. Got it right there in that Very range. Very strategic. Very strategic <laughs> and on <laughs> point. They but that's that what a true performer does. Once you've been performing for a certain amount of years, you know what you can and can't do. And especially at a level of the Grammys, you know you couldn't play yourself short. And you're gonna still look like J Lo, and we still hold her at this regard because she's hot and she does it well. Hanifa, she says. Benny Medina is her manager, a legend oh, in the business. Uh, makes so, sense. There you makes go. sense. There you go, right there. It's Somebody said we, they wish we would have been as mad about J Lo uh, saying the N word as we are about her performing. But they, I but, was mad about but, that. But too. you know, um, <laughs> ha, has, Hashem said that during that song, it was actually Ashante, Ashante that yeah. was singing. Ashante recorded it first. So, you know, so they did a lot of songs, and Tamia and Ashante have done that on song. She recorded it first, and then J Lo came and redid it. Well, and did, you know, the. Now, let me song. tell you some folks. During the Grammys, that can sing. <laughs> but they over sing. Ooh, over sing. Fantasia is not and them when they were yeah. singing that Aretha so Franklin. Fantasia, uh, Yolanda Adams, and um. Was it Rihanna? Re Rita Ora. No, that Rita was not Ora. Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't. Really? Oh, uh, I knew, yeah. I knew Fantasia. <laughs> yes. But you know, Fantasia's a bad sister, and I give it the hands down. I've seen her up close, first, front row, and Fantasia always sings her heart out, whether she's singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, or You Stole My Man. She's always she going to sometimes angel. over sing, but that's what she does. But she that's the problem. See, the three of them did not perform as a team. No, it was like no. a cage match. No, but I seen that one point where Fantasia did stop and realize they were trying to do this out singing, and she gave me a lot of the, as we Respect. She gave you your line of the church mother, you know, her little way. But the problem, you make me feel like a natural woman, is not sung in the key of R E S P E C T. <laughs> it's kind of more of a, yeah. you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's like, you know, a jazz. It could have been a woman empowerment moment, but we didn't really feel that. It was Don't like, sing, I have a part, I have a part, and you have a part. And I'm going to blow you off this stage. Hello, because I can sing, sing. And I they mean, can all sing. You know, you don't have your ne your veins popping out your neck on <laughs> natural woman. <laughs> He's I think too far from him, too yeah, far from I know I'm old fashioned, but I think that other girl should have kept her clothes on. Oh, Rita Ora? Yeah. She have yeah. her clothes on? Aretha uh, Franklin was too classy. Come on, and Too rich and a queen. Uh, you should have had her clothes on. Okay. But let me tell you the star of the well, show. Well, Cardi out. B. Cardi B. Oh, 2020. Oh, oh, Car oh, come on. Oh, Cardi oh, B. Oh, I'm going, Cardi. I know you are. 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 Cardi. I know you are.
all the way. I mean, I ain't seen Barty, but I'm going with Carter, and you're not going with Jay. If you got a problem with J Lo, and I don't have a problem with J Lo. I think she did an exceptional job, <laughs> but um, but he said Cardi B stole the show. May I say that it is the award-winning, the Grammy award-winning, Grammy award-winning winning Grammy Cardi B. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. yeah. I, I'm super excited for Cardi. I love seeing the underdog win, and that's what I'm always root for. She came from the gutter, and she's be, and she has maintained uh, who she is the whole way through. Gutter. So I respect that. But, you know, the Bronx, the Bronx is hard lines. I live in the Bronx. It was a little gutter out there. That you know? dress is so dirty. She should have put that dress. That dress. Everything that is original is not cute. Cardi. Period. Everything when you can't even stand and walk. It's right. not cute. It was more people holding that little whatever that was. Yeah. 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 So, you know, somebody's gonna look like a beautiful tulip and you're gonna be great. Okay. See, that's because you guys don't follow Cardi B. She flew all the way to Paris to pick that dress out. I know. And it was an homage to all dresses. It was an homage to that. We thought it was off the old record player, the horn. So, y'all didn't like the dress? No. No, no. I was impressed with either one of her dresses. I wasn't impressed with the white dress or that dress. Either one of the dresses. She had the best speech. She said, I'm so nervous. Maybe I should start smoking some weed. That was a good little cry. Can I be honest? What really bothers me is that you know you're nominated. Can we please just get a little. I know nerves come in. Can we get a little speech? Because you wasted half your time not saying anything, then they play the music and cue you out. And I'm like, girl, that could have been a whole nother segment of talking. And you didn't thank God either, but she did later on in her Instagrams, which was her Instagram speeches were way better than what she actually did on stage. Well, was like, yeah, why, didn't anybody, why didn't anybody bring up the fact that Offset was right by herself? Oh, that, that made me sad, too. I think why? she had that moment by herself. Yeah. I think she deserved that. She, she said with my so husband. Hard. She said with my husband. Oh, yeah, because oh, y'all don't realize Offset. Offset, that was it. Right. When yeah, a lot of it. And then they, know, they were still rocking each other. We knew that, but I would have loved to see her on that moment by herself. Offset is back. In the building. Offset never, never left. left. Thank yeah, you. Period. Offset never left. We just, I think women, you know, when we see you go through something, we see you confess, I'm done, and all that, especially when you don't tell us you're back on, we want to see you own a moment by yourself. <laughs> and you haven't had that moment yet, so that would have been perfect. I want a Grammy, and you could have still thanked him while he sat in his little seat. Right. And I want to thank my husband, and I want to thank my daughter, and I want to thank everybody who's rooting for me. Woo woo, and keep it moving. Smokey woo -woo, Girl yeah, said like, she right. wants to send a shout out to Alicia Keys. She said Alicia Keys did her thing. That's my girl. Yeah. She all was right. playing like okay. two pianos. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she was called when she performed. I thought she was doing the hosting. Because I can't deal without her outfit choices, too. Yeah. But, um, hosting? Her mm -hmm. hosting was, was, what did you think? I think she did an okay job. I just wasn't impressed with her fashion choices. And the, the, some of those choices she made. Performing, of course, Alicia Keys is a beast. But, um, the choices she made, I know she's all about this natural thing and all that, but it just was... She could have made a lot of better. Well, well, you know, Childish Gambino, he won, but he didn't show up. No, he was sending his little crew up there. To but the crew thing. kept talking. I was like, dude, how do you be as the crew get stage? cut off? As the crew, you don't get to get cut off. Stop talking. You come and say three things. I could hear, I could hear Childish Gambino thinking through the show, like, damn, like, this, is this? this is America. This is America. Oh, yeah. this is America. You know who did great? Chloe and Hallie. Hands down, they're, they're oh, yeah. beautiful girls. That was talking about complimenting one another. Obviously, mm -hmm. the twin sisters, but the complimenting when they sing. It's just beautiful. Huh. Well. You don't feel like that? I don't know. I, you know, when I hear the newer. <laughs> what? what? So I was stacking it up like Yeah, like what happened? What? Like, exactly. Is there were shaking? Shaking, baby? Shaking it? Is there were shaking, shaking, shaking it up and doing all that? I don't, I don't know. Who are you right now? She has okay, hypnotized you. B, what happened? I don't know. Spot, I feel like guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, I thought they all. I don't like, know. you know, like the younger generation, when they sing older songs, it's kind of like it's technical, but you don't really feel mm. the soul. Mm. <laughs> but they're they're trained singers. They're more trained opera singers, so it makes sense to what they're doing. I it it seems. I mean, a lot. I mean, I don't take it away from any of the new artists, but since the music has morphed away from the black church and it's got, and you know black folks tend to now have to learn at special schools because they took music right, out of the right. schools. They sound real technical. Mm. They don't yeah, sound yeah. like. Mm. They don't just let the spirit lead them. But then when they let the spirit lead them, you say they're out singing. They're too, doing too much. Which one is it, Brother Jeff? You don't know. I think you are. You know, um, <laughs> by the way, can we give Shay J? Come on, y'all. Oh, thank you, guys. Call well, up number 22. <laughs> if you're enjoying this show, we need you to go to BrotherJeff.com and make your donation right now. BrotherJeff.com. Make a donation of any amount. Seven donations. And if you're into Patreon... Go to Brother Jeff or Say J and become a patron. Come become a patron. You know, I've got this goal of 40. I'm at 39. Oh I need God. somebody to put me right in the middle. 
Are you serious? I just need You're doing great. Boom. You're doing okay, great. I have to get serious about my Patreon, guys. I need you to go on there. Go to Shay J at Patreon. We gotta get this moving. We gotta make and it. And you right. need just one more, so you can. I need one to get half to my forty. I'm trying to get to my first forty. You'll do that in no time. <coughs> As a matter of fact, show. you guys didn't go. Many of you didn't go see. I wanted to see or that. Being black for dummies. I did you? See did y'all see this? I didn't get to go. Oh, we sold it out. Yeah, I we know. packed it. I know it was sold out. But I, I could tell you, if you uh, did see it and you want to unpack all this, you could tell it's hooded. So Trayvon, it's, it's a deep. Uh, deep play this Saturday at the Dayton Opportunity Center at 7 p.m. I'm going to do a free community discussion and we're going to have Betty Hart the director some of the yes. cast there in the community talking about the themes and unpacking this in a real way I love it I can't wait. I want to go see it. So I really want to you're see not going to see it in Denver. It closed. Yeah, still. It's, it's over. Away. I'm going to go, I'm gonna find it and see it still. Oh yeah, because you travel yeah, everywhere. I'll you'll pick it, it up. I I've been, I've been hearing a lot about it. Yeah, it's going to travel. You'll see it. In I've New been York. hearing a lot about it, so I do want to see. You'll see it. You'll see it. What's going on? Uh, my man Lamumba Sayers, Heavy Hands is checked in. Hey, I remember that guy. Well, somebody had the nerve to challenge Heavy Hands. No, no, no. Are you serious? Foolish, so, foolish. I that's, said, baby, that's foolish. You, you ain't ready. You, you know, um, you know, I want to, I want to send, I want to go over here real quick okay. and talk. Um, let's let's make our way over to Virginia. Have Ooh, you are been, we going there? Have you been following? <laughs> oh, how have I been following Mr. Blackface, Ku Klux Klan? I don't know who I am. Ralph Northam. Over I don't there remember which one I did. How, oh. Who doesn't remember which one they were? Well, Come on, guys. you know, let's blackface. Let's, just let's talk about black. Let's talk about blackface now. Um, the the governor of Virginia. <laughs> we wake up with it. The, right. governor, oh, the yeah. governor of Virginia, yes. Ralph Northam, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. while he was in school back at the time Square Biz was coming out. Right. Same time, mm -hmm. Tina Marie was doing her black thing. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. He's an antagonizer, guys. I don't you, know if you I'm, know just, it I'm just saying. Is that the, is Tina Marie. Tina Marie was doing her black thing in the 80s oh, okay. with Rick James. Yes. But um, the governor, the now governor of Virginia, Ralph Northam, mm -hmm. he was doing his black thing, like taking pictures yeah. in the yearbook. Yeah. yeah. In blackface, mm -hmm. standing next to a, a colleague, da a draped in a Ku Klux Klan outfit. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, What's my yeah, thoughts yeah. on it? First of all, I just want to be clear about this. This yearbook is not a high school yearbook. Which one was the worst? This is his medical school yearbook. So this man was 25 years old. Therefore, he's 39 now. Nothing has changed that much in his thought process. From 25 to 39, you have your basic morals and values already instilled in you. So I feel like it's wrong. <coughs> he should resign and let's move forward. He's got to go? He's got to go. You're I, saying nothing has changed? Sending, no. He, he was 25. <coughs> he's but, 39. What has changed? But I'm, a racist is a racist is a racist. Oh, you think he's a racist? I do. I feel like that was a racist behavior. It was, very, it was racist behavior. And I don't feel like that should be the person governing my people. How could he not be racist? How could he not be racist? How could he not be? You just stood next to the Ku Klux Klan. Come on now. Come on. Y'all came and Come on. Y'all came ready as a unit. I want to do this one. I'm going to do this one. Yeah. And then we're going to be like, we don't know who was who. JJ, he said he apologized initially. Yeah, but then he came back. He came back and said, but it wasn't but me. But it wasn't me. And that's what made it even worse. So then you don't even take full ownership. You're taking this half partial ownership of it. And then saying you don't know which one it was. And it wasn't me. It was me. All that is too much for me. So your integrity has been lost for me. And I'm good on you. <laughs> Resign. Goodbye. Deuces. We're, we're past apologies, we're, aren't we? We're, are are we? Past Can we, 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 we past, if you're racist, it's you're racist. Right. Your apology means nothing to me. Absolutely nothing. But your president but, is... But, Oh, wait, 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 wait. But he's a Democrat. So, so what? Democrats so can't be there racist. Isn't that so cute? Look, there right. are skin folk who really ain't your kin folk. Come on, so let's come keep on. it 100. Just uh, because uh, we look the same don't mean we are the same. Uh, right. Oh, uh, but black, <laughs> see, but, but black <laughs> folks roll with the Democrats a thousand percent. I don't roll with and anybody keep, with my morals They values. keep jumping on Trump's helmet saying that Trump is racist and he's got to go, but... <laughs> He is. Now when it's their own. independent, I don't care who you are, wrong is wrong and right is right, he needs to go, period. And I just think that's how it should be. And if people don't roll like that, they don't know how to differentiate. Differentiate. I cannot get that out for anything, it's a cough drop. Differentiate. 
appreciate different. the difference between just because he's Democrat does not make him not be a racist. And that's insane to even think So you're that. saying that the 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 governor of Virginia is a straight up racist. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, Aren't you? I'm what saying he has some racist behavior that makes me question his morals and values, and I don't think that should be something that should be in leadership. And then when it came to him and he didn't take complete ownership, for me that created another set of problems. Yeah, that's the, like, the... And you had people black, you had the NAACP, you had the Black Caucus, and now neither one of them want to be a part of this, because a man of integrity, even if you would have said, you know what, I was 25 years old, I knew better, I should have been, I should have did better, it was still peer pressure, it was my last year in medical school, even if you would have came at me and kept it 100 grand, we could have sat and talked about something. But these folks in power that, don't believe that they have to apologize the or power. be legit. They got to work the political levers and see right. how they can put their toe in the water and see if they're going to survive. When he came back, he said, it wasn't me, <laughs> but I put on blackface before, but just a little bit. Because I was going to be Michael Jackson and when this one time, yeah, like, come oh, on, stop. You see it was crew? But the whole see his crew? Well, we're going to talk about his crew. He TV this morning. My master treated me good. That's the way I look. The, uh, well, the black folks are standing up saying master treated me good? Yeah. Ugh. They say he hasn't been seen in public. He's been going to work via tunnels <laughs> under the capital. Now he's scared. Now he's scared. He, now he's scared. So he ain't no racist. But you, Why but he's not there if you ain't racist? You hit it right okay, there. so there's a shiny light right to this then if he's a racist because the lieutenant governor is a black man. Right. And so if Fairfax. he steps down, oh, Mr. Fairfax, Fairfax is going to become the governor. Well, we know Fairfax no. is having his own issues right now. Fairfax is going to become nothing. Right. Fairfax is going through his own thing. They're trying to make impeach yeah, Fairfax right. already. Right. Why? Oh, Mr. Fairbanks been playing with stuff that he wasn't supposed to be doing. He yeah. said he, he didn't blood. do it. Uh, okay. Those charges uh, came up good. before that he had, you know, sexually harassed or done some stuff and it mm. didn't vet out. But then somebody else just somebody said, else came back um, let me put some new yeah, um, meat yeah. in the cabinet. In the, in the it's cabin. not looking too good so, for Mr. Fairfax. He ain't a racist and he ain't no rapist. Now that we got that out the way, right. y'all okay. waiting on all, all the old white men to die. My grandma said if we want the system to go away, we're going to wait on every old white man to die in his whole bloodline because they're just handing it down like a torch. Right. Okay, well then, we got to move it down the line then. Mm, look what Mr. Because Bush now... If those two don't make it, those two Democrats, there's a third Democrat. Yeah, Who's the third one? The yeah. Attorney General will become the governor. And didn't he just Garbage. get hit with something too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he was in my face too. Thank you. <laughs> Virginia, just to throw it all away. Just be your own people. Do your own thing. You don't need no governor. You don't need nobody. Just go like, in. Do like the Oscars. Oh, go without somebody for a year. They don't have a host this year. You don't have a governor this year. Everything will be fine. But okay, oh, so if they're having this moral imperative that we got to stand by right. That means the Democrats got to put all those Democrats out, and then the next one up is a Republican. That's right. You're going to have a Republican governor Ooh. in Virginia. Ooh. 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 Racism is on both sides. It always yeah, it has is. been historically, so we can't just be like blue and red. We sound like the Crips and right, the Bloods. Right. It's, it's snitches in the Crips and that the Bloods, baby. Real. Let's keep it 100. That's it ain't no real. different because it's a Democrat mm -hmm. and a Republican. Virginia's not looking too good. So Someone on here good. just said... Hey, might, might this be a conspiracy that when it's time to hold it uh, hand this down to the black man, that suddenly there are all these multiple sexual assault charges? Yeah. Mm. But you know, Donald Trump said those folks got to go. Oh, of course please. he is. But Donald not black guys. Not black guys. Not black guys. Because it's okay to be racist. But that, that kind of being racist is cool, right? Come on, y'all. But Donald said grab him by the hoo-hoo. Right. So are so we listening to Donald right. right now? Okay. That's his crew. Well, Shay, I gotta show you this picture. We gotta go back to. Is that Mr. Sambo? We gotta, we gotta go back a little ways to go back to this blackface tradition. Let's do it. And um, you know, speaking of Virginia, hey, Frederick Douglass in the 19th or the yeah, you know the 19th century, right? Uh -huh. You, you know, this is when this kind of mockery of black folks began with white mm -hmm. folks putting on blackface right. and doing these um, minstrel shows. And, mm -hmm. you know, it is the American uh, foundation of white theater. Mm -hmm. The right. American theater right. goes back to this whole uh, minstrel kind of behavior. And, the of the and Frederick Douglass even had something to say about it because there were the Virginia minstrels, the Christie uh, minstrels, the Ethiopian uh, sir. Uh, sir serenaders uh -huh. and he said any of them filthy scum of white society who have stolen from us a complexion denied them by nature in which to make money and pander to the corrupt taste of their white fellow citizens. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs>
Now break it down. Now break it down. I'm going out and break that down. <laughs> it's Frederick du- if Frederick Douglass was on their helmet early 19th early. century, okay. come on. And we're talking about this in 2019. Is something wrong? How much are we involving? We're still no. talking about how blackface is not appropriate. And this oh. is still even, that's the thing is, if anybody in leadership has, has to think twice about blackface being appropriate or not, we have a problem on bigger scale, the people that we're electing to lead us. Whether it's a leadership in fashion, whether it's a leadership in government, whatever this is, we know blackface is wrong and it has been for up to years. But I mean, stop. I'm going back to Frederick Douglass. Mm. He was enslaved. Mm-hmm. So enslaved. you can't tell him nothing. Hello. Right. You can you know what? Um Childish Gambino can't tell Frederick Douglass nothing about this. <laughs> this is America. This is America. That's real. Because he said he called any of them filthy scum of white society who have stolen from us a complexion denied them by mm-hmm. nature in which to make money and pander to the corrupt <laughs> tastes of their white fellow citizens. He's talking about cultural appropriation. That's real. That's real. That's real. He's Fuck. talking about cultural appropriation. Yeah. 18... 1830? 1870? Mm-hmm. I mean, 1830s right. and that. Oh, my gosh. Being that black sambo thing and all that about 1830s. Cultural yeah. appropriation. Yeah. And mm. it's... To make money and to make mockery of us oh, Jim Crow. and to put on <laughs> what they were denied by nature... Right. Isn't that happening today, though? I we just had a white that. lady right with now. the NAACP. She black. That's how she identifies. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel Donzel. Is that her name? Donna's I don't Rachel. know about her name. Well, <laughs> Old girl who thinks she black. She's not black. Right. Well, Elizabeth Warren said she was Native American, and they pulled out all them cards where yeah. she was signing. You know they was getting them scholarships. Right. And getting that access and it's that so-called new. minority participation. It's yeah. 2019. No, it's real. It's 2019. Time's up. She's not the only one. There's also white girls who... Don't claim they're like black in their like identity, but they're also darkening their skin, profiting mm-hmm. off of mm-hmm. social mm-hmm. media. Influencers. The black- what did you call them though? Black fishers. They're called black fishers. Black fishers. I so like that. So the new generation is dealing with what okay. they call black, black fishers. fishers. Um, so <laughs> stealing other <laughs> cultures, but like the that. goal was to make mockery right. of and make money, money mockery, and mockery, mockery and money. But oh. so with that being said. There's a long tradition of making mockery of us yeah. at a profit. Yeah, it's been happening for years. But then on the flip side, there were a lot of black entertainers that put on black, black face, face, even though they were black, and made money by entertaining those who had right. taste or corrupt tastes of the white fellow citizens. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So the are the ones use the oppressive behaviors at some point? Haven't we been taught this That's in folks right. not kin folk? Oh, right. We gather that oppressive response and we get do it to each other with colorism, right. ageism. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We can mm-hmm. dig all the way into that. Mm-hmm. It's not new. It's 2019 same. slavery, right? Yeah. That's all it is. You hit the nail on the head. They would use another slave to get the bad slaves in line. They would, right, they right. They would be a, a head this slave. Is was, this is deep. This is real. Yeah. Yeah. Black face. Yeah. Cultural yeah. appropriation. Uh, yeah. Virginia. All of this playing out today. There are many talking about it. Uh, but it sounds like a lot of folks are more upset about blackface and the fact that it's political and mm-hmm. some people might lose power as opposed to being dis- grus- disgusted by things happening to black day. faces every day. Woo! That's new. Uh-huh. <laughs> They're going to be mad about an issue, not about a human. Oh, yeah. Oh, human, oh, not oh, human oh, 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 to them. We're mad about we issues. We humanized yeah, the, how many hundreds of years ago. We're dogs. You hear me? We're dogs and they're three-fifths of a human being. We can go not all dogs. the way into it. So <laughs> how do we just talk about an issue, baby? You tell me about the human <laughs> beings and then we can talk. right, because dogs die. They have their places. They got dogs. Oh, yeah, they say they're dogs. Oh, my goodness. They got sweat. Yeah, look what you did there, brother. See? Well, see, it's real. It, I mean, I mean, this is real. It, it, it goes all the way back. The history is long. I guess I got to show it. I got to put another. Yeah, I got to put another up image up for yeah. those who are following the mm-hmm. tradition. I know you all are f- familiar with the birth of a nation. Yes, of course. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. We gonna talk about this? Oh, yep. uh, are we ready? I, I, I don't even know if y'all are ready to talk about birth of a nation. They say it was art. <laughs> art? Yeah, they said it was art. It was art. Well, I can tell you, the birth of a nation 
if you if you think about that film Birth of a Nation, and it goes back to again, we're talking about the Virginia governor Ralph Northam. He dressed in blackface, and next to him he had uh, someone donning a Klan uniform or outfit. And if right. you recall, following um, the so-called Civil War and the emancipation, you mm -hmm. started having all of these reconstruction amendments, laws, and government protection, federal government protection of black folks mm -hmm. and that came into <clears throat> the South to help rebuild the South, but also to make sure that um, that Southern way of life mm -hmm. was put in check. Mm -hmm. well, well, remember, this happened. is when you started that's first having... Comes. This is when you first started having mm -hmm. black senators and black Congress people right. during the Reconstruction period. Mm -hmm. So when folks are talking about the first black senator and they're talking about <laughs> Obama and others, Both. they are ignoring the Reconstruction oh, totally. period. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, the, it, the Reconstruction ended because <laughs> the, the Republicans and the Democrats, the white guys, got and shook hands and they said, we'll leave the South and let you handle that and you can re-enslave them. That's how you got re-enslaved under those... Uh, Jim Crow laws. Jim Crow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the Jim Crow period that came into a place. But right. during that period of time, the mockery through entertainment came through this film, Birth of a Nation. Mm -hmm. And Birth of a Nation was showing all of those black legislatures inside of Congress, you know, with their feet up on their desk, doing all that minstrel behavior. And the savior of the South and the purity of white women was who? Mm -hmm. The Ku Klux Klan! How crazy. <laughs> imagine. Come on, y'all. Imagine. Imagine. They've been using entertainment to stay on our helmet for a long time. From the beginning. From the brainwash. From the beginning. And this is why I think it's even more important to say somebody like Ralph Nathan has to get out. It's enough. Time's up. It's enough. He has got to go. But... But he'll be replaced with another Ralph Nathan. Right. They pass this down like a generation, family generation, heirloom. Generation. Yeah, that's why I know you're racist. But that's how I know he's racist. That's why I'm clear on that. Childish Gambino, who did not show up for the Grammy, said, yeah, and so this, this is America. <laughs> this is America. Thank you. He said the black man tried to get a little piece in there. The he didn't man, let the black man He wouldn't let the black man oh, say right, one right. word. The brother couldn't say The brother couldn't say one word. He was mad when the music came on. He just turned yeah, around. Does the average person <laughs> know historically how many black presidents there has been in the United States? Well, I know that there was there. Four. I know there are at least yeah. There are more than four. one. Right, four. 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 But we some some say that our out. our good friend Abe yeah. Lincoln. Abe Lincoln, I've heard that was a brother. But he yeah. has a brother. In there. Yeah. Well, you could tell. If you, okay, so if you all go and take Eisenhower. out of your pockets right now, I want you to take out a quarter, a nickel, a dime, and a penny. Now, which one is brown? Who's on that brown penny? Penny. penny. Lincoln. Abe Lincoln, that's right. his Good old Lincoln. Boy, He ain't worth right. a penny. Right. He ain't worth a penny. They knew he was black, they, they gave him that penny. brown coin now, because They gave him that why? brown coin. But now, if you line them up next to each other, they're all turning their back on him. Mm -hmm. Lincoln's right. facing the Lincoln other way. way. And it's real. <laughs> I've done that. You know, someone told me that in New York, and I have done that with the... Yeah, Dude. it's real. Do yeah, it. Take out your you guys. Do this at home. So the entertainment life. and the Grammys and the Oscars and all this stuff that it's we celebrate has been used. This whole industry this is just as guilty as politics Absolutely. and economics Absolutely. and everything else. It's all intertwined Absolutely. to maintain the social order of white supremacy. Absolutely. That's why it's important that we keep small media like Brother Jeff in. So if you haven't, go donate now. This is why you keep small media because they've been doing <laughs> they this do and they're it. not going to stop doing it. It's, we know. Oh. It. Okay, so okay. now, so if you move forward, mm -hmm. let's talk about hip hop. Let's talk about Eminem. Oh, is oh, he a minstrel oh, in blackface without the makeup? I don't think he is. No, no. Is that cultural appropriation? I don't think. I don't so. think so. He doesn't no. Present himself not as at all. A black man. Not he at all. Just is a he's white who man. he is. He's From Detroit, exactly. He's not black. Exactly. He's OJ. Uh, <laughs> socioeconomically white people right. are now catching up to the idea that just your pigment doesn't make you white on that level. Yeah, longer. absolutely. And when we get closer to the socioeconomic part, we're going to understand, baby, you ain't black, you OJ. Yes. Was, yeah. was, was Elvis menstrual? In Elvis yeah. was racist. Well, and stealing our music. In, Elvis so we're not gonna was go that. beyond racist. Yeah. We ain't yeah. even touching touch him. him that's a whole that. different game. So, yeah. not, no. No. So, no. so Elvis was doing menstrual? Elvis was stealing our music. Without the paint. Exactly. Yeah. He's still not stuck. He stuff. was the worst. And put his he name on the way he did it first. No. Chuck Berry. He did yeah. Chuck Berry. Yeah. We don't do music. Yeah. So, we is, don't so are we talking about, I mean, of course, with the minstrel blackface tradition, it was to make <laughs> mockery of mm -hmm. 
in a humorous way, mm -hmm. being something that you're not, okay. and being very degrading as you do it. Is Tyler Perry participating oh, in the minstrel yes. show? Oh my yes. gosh, did you see this? Now you know I, I have my own views about Tyler Perry. And yes. I don't know if we've read, read enough trigger lists for my opinion. I'm saying a black man so who dresses say, up like a black woman gets yes. paid real, real, real good money. decent and do you know to, be, black women to present can stereotypical and images of black women. I, and I understand why Spike Lee was upset with him. I think yes. it was so unnecessary, yes. I and think it was very unnecessary. I think it was disrespectful. I think we have a lot of talented black women that can play a great grandmother. Right. We don't need the stereotype for what? For why? Why? And I'm not okay with it. Period. So but now why? it's telling our black yeah, boys they dress up as women. Right. Too. And then dress up as women to make money. And you know they've been saying that in the industry for years. That as a black man to be successful in the media industry, you had to dress up as a woman or you had to get done in the butt in order to be <laughs> in society. Is that how they do it? If you look at it, that's how it goes. You have to either play gay or you have to dress up as a woman or you're not making it in the entertainment industry. We already know those gimmicks and those games. Right. So stop perpetuating that. A lot of them do dress up in women. Watch, watch them. Start watching. Be and if you start watching every black man, y'all know that. I'm telling y'all this. I know this. I've studied this. So well, I'm telling no you, this is already, why would you, in having your own money and really trying to make it, why would you perpetuate that type of system? When, if I can start something on my own, there's none of those stereotypes are going to be a part of it. Because if you look at the system as it's set up, Everyone who mocks and scorns black people, they're win. celebrated they for that. They they're put on the pinnacle so that the world can point their finger at us and laugh at us, not with us. At so us. if you're willing to do things that make you fit in those stereotypical minstrel yeah. blackface roles, you you're can guarantee stop. you'll get some chain chains. So what are you going out for then? Well, how much are you? The, that's it. How much are you worth? Isn't this actually like the breaking of the buck in front of the slave women and children? Yeah. Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. now you have this. You're black going to William Lynch letter. You're going to William Lynch. Exactly. That's it's exactly. It's really same, Lynch. It's the same the thing. thing. So if y'all know anything thing. about William Lynch, they have said it from the beginning. I'm going to demasculate you. I'm going to take this away. So now the women aren't going to respect you. Your kids aren't going to respect you. All these things, and it's happening over and over and over and over. Over again. Well, and we're we not jumping on. We're not. I don't think jumping on Tyler Perry. The question just is: Is that no, we're not. is he we're profiting from a minstrel type formula? Right. Um, Hanifa says on the plus size side, Tyler Perry employs multiples Hands of down. black actors, Hands actresses, down. and yes. brings Hands them down. big revenue to Absolutely. Georgia. And I love that about Tyler Perry. He always makes sure he keeps us going. He keeps us in, and he's putting us on the big screen and different sitcoms and all that. So I take none of that away from him. Yeah. But when we're talking about what is, what is he doing with Medea, that still holds certain and true. Period. Great. It's still disrespectful. Well, a lot, of, a lot of stereotypes employ a lot of, generate a lot of revenue when you're financially rewarded for a certain type of right. image you're putting out right. there then you can, you yeah, know, you can put on have a lot of people um, employed or whatever, or you can change or influence the social, um, the social character and the dynamics of society. Exactly. So if, if entertainment is more than just entertainment. Oh, yeah, it is social yeah, yeah. engineering oh, at best. Absolutely. Well, why There's do they not have done these things. another Black Panther and they keep having these other movies like that and all of them do not include black folks well my yeah, well that's a good question but the bigger question to me has always been as we talk about what hollywood does and rewards why don't we create our own black hollywood oh, and tell our own stories absolutely. and you know be the guardian or the guidance and we have some of our that are own doing that. we have some our that own are doing journey. that and like Viola Davis, Davis and her husband just about a production company they're doing that working on black films Tisha Campbell's been doing that so it's Kelly Rowland Spike Lee's been doing that so we have some great people doing that Tyler Perry's been doing it in his own way so I'm not taking anything from him I just could have did without the Medea I could have did it without that part so we are having people that are playing these significant roles in changing our narrative but I think it's very important that we stay stick strong in our narrative and what is being presented. If he, if he didn't do Medea, would you think he would be as successful? Would there be a Tyler Perry Absolutely without a Medea? No, he wouldn't be as successful. And that sucks. And that's so sad. a black man can't be a black man but, standing flat-footed as a black man and generate that type of wealth? I don't think everybody would have took on immediately. It would have took a lot more time. But if he would have had the, the, still the backing of Oprah and those things, then maybe he would have been. And that, that too plays a part in it. I think blackface so, is all about putting on the trappings of somebody else and making mockery or making humor or making others laugh as you do it. Right. And that's what America has done to us since, you know, Frederick they Douglass won. was talking about it. They won before that. <laughs> Slavery, right. Willie Lynch letter, okay? Back in the... They've been doing saying this. Willie Lynch. I'm telling who's you. Who's Willie Lynch, for those who don't know? 
That's the, this is the whole slave. The whole slave owner. This, I mean, I used to study this because when we would do artwork, they would say, you know, this has already been embedded. You know, these things are already supposed to happen. You know, this was already supposed to come. And then when you read it, it's like, hands down, everything that we're living in. So what's up with the argument that the Willie Lynch letter is not true, that it was actually written in 1975? And so this is a, a conversation that I've had several times now from historians, black historians, African-American historians, saying the Willie Lynch letter was deemed not even authentic. It was actually written later, and it was just a synopsis saying what they see. of what we're seeing. Well, I, I think that's a great <laughs> argument. That's always a good argument in terms of the validity of, right, of who wrote it. Who right. things, but the yeah. authenticity of what there. it is yeah. saying yeah. is true. Mm -hmm. The way that you can perpetually keep black folks enslaved yep. is by keeping us divided. Tall against short, light against dark, dark house yeah. against field. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rich over against poor. Over. So the man, even though the Willie the Lynch individual may not be an actual person, the right. person Which who put that true. together just like a Bible or anything was else. telling a universal truth in terms of how you season and continue a cycle of enslavement that will be self-perpetuating. Uh, the Willie Lynch letter is saying you don't even have to do anything after a certain period of time. Blacks will fight and easy. kill each other yep. without a, a so-called slave master around them. Yep. It'll be like autopilot. Autopilot. Break the biggest one in front of him, break him down, make him... And, and we've proven this point. That's the thing is we've proven this and continuously we have proven this. God so. just don't have no faith in us. <laughs> no, I have some faith in us. Don't say that. I have faith in us. Well, you know, Gerald's just trying to throw that little stink bomb in there. Alan, like, Alan oh. Webb said it good. Our behavior, unfortunately, makes it true. I'm the devil. It, exactly. Exactly, Alan. It's exactly. The, it, if, if what you're reading is backed up by the action, right. then we should say, I don't care who book. wrote it. I don't care. It, it, it's, uh, as long as we're divided, sh we are perpetuating our own oppression. Yeah. So I don't care who wrote it. I see it. It's real. Okay. It's real. So, I mean, you know, the governor of Virginia said he just did a little bit of blackface. Is it a little bit good? <laughs> I mean, can we deal with a little what bit of racism? Or a lot? I deal with How no racism. Racism is racism is, is racism. I'm good on it all. And no and racism. So and, and leadership, I think we need to get a little bit more particular about who we let be in leadership. Well, he said no more racism. It, it, it looks like the governor of Virginia there. ain't going nowhere. Hmm. Yeah, he said he's not resigning. He was like, it would be that would be the easy thing to do if I resigned. I will not be resigning. And <laughs> he said he's in a better position to help black folks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now. This. And my thing is, before this, have we done any research? Has he helped any black in anything, any type of black involvement? Does he have any type of black networks that he's been given to and doing things for? And I think all those things show true to the character of who you are. And I don't see anything coming out to say that this man has been supporting anything black. But now all of a sudden that you've been caught on being a racist. Now, oh. Now, hold on, let me do something for you black people. Don't let me go. I'm going to do something for you now. Well, his crew said it this morning. The master did a lot for us. Exactly. Um, Hanifa said, what about Mona Scott with the Love and Hip Hop exactly, franchise? Exactly, 100%. She is just as bad as Andy as bad. Cohen with Bravo and the Real Housewives 100%, franchise. 100%. I'm with you. I, I don't support that stuff. I don't watch that stuff. You know, I catch up here and there because I have to for media purposes. But I'm, I'm with them 100%. It's a what, What's thing. wrong with Love and Hip Hop? Oh, my oh, God. Cardi B. Oh, my started God. Cardi B. Cardi B. Look, yeah, turn your head. Yeah, I just have to turn my head. Like, something's not even wanting me to like even going into. Like, I, I can't do this. I couldn't watch I can't the whole love and hip hop thing. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. With it's people. messy, and it's what our kids are watching. Exactly. And so now, now we're they think we are perpetuating the cycle once mm -hmm. again, right? Mm -hmm. Because now they're just saying, I cuss her out, I call her a bitch and a hoe. Everything she gonna say this, we gonna do this, we gonna get some money, we gonna throw, we gonna do this, we gonna drink some champagne. We home. We living. This is life. I don't know. But some people live that life. Makeup on. They're not. They're not making up that life there are a lot that live that life there are a lot that live that life like it's, it's but, still un unacceptable in my in my opinion absolutely it's not positive Cardi productive or and relative. when i think about the the love and hip-hop situation or whatever and how uh offset cheated on her and there were so many women that came out of the woodworks that was like, you better take him back. He apologized. Right, he got right. flowers. He did this. Girl, he did that. Yeah. And it's like, why do we as women always have to like accept that? Why do we always have to be the writer? Why you can't just do right? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? And why does it keep teaching our girls that it's okay to accept less? And that it's okay to be accept a lower status. And it's okay for a man to treat her any type of way. And to do it in front of the whole public. I had that. At least dog me in private. Like, dang, why do you do it on screen? And then everybody says, well, this is cute. This is this is exactly 
exactly what it's supposed well, to be. Well, Rodney like, Frank says, huh? Oh, Rodney Frank right, says, relationship go. Oh, Rodney Frank says, what about Terry Crews? Who's Terry Crews? Oh, Terry Crews, he had to dress up as a woman as well. Yeah, play gay, had to do that. White White chicks. The formula for it's success a formula. Immediate. In, it's the, a formula. in these Americas as a black man or perhaps woman or in general is right. if you can humiliate black folks in yourself, then, you're then you are more likely to be uber successful. But yep. Kevin Hart, one of the most successful comedians selling out... Um, Gar uh, the, the garden. The garden. Mm -hmm. He dressed the garden. up as a woman. Oh, uh, Kevin, Kevin Hart? Yes. yes. If you look it up, it's there. They're all there. <coughs> oh. Smith, seven pounds. He had to be gay. Like, I mean, yeah. it's all there. I mean, I just yeah. watched it's all there. And everybody we talk about any successful look, black male. But look at Terry Crews, though. Take him for an example. He goes and he dressed up as this white woman, but then he got to come out and say, somebody grabbed my junk. Exactly. It allowed right. and opened right. the gate for man, him. Somebody. Well, man. another man. Right. right. Huh. I ain't even going to let it can be a bit overwhelming. It is. You know, but the stereotypes that play out have been continuing since the emancipation of our community. Absolutely. And they continue all the way up until now. Yeah. Is there an end to this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there an end to this? Because yeah, when you put you money in it and you see folks with all of the fancy stuff and folks will say, over over I will do that to get that. Yeah. Um... Yeah. You know, and speaking of that, I want to put this picture up again because you can take a look at this face again. And the one on the right, well, it's the same person. Don't that look like the Gucci outfit? Yes. What's up Ooh, with Gucci? That is the Gucci sweater. Yeah. And let's talk about, you know what you just said about perpetuating. You know what makes me sick? Today, Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather went into Gucci yes. and spent a fortune on Gucci and said, I live my life how I want to. Don't nobody tell me who and what and what not to buy. Well, and I am he disgusted. Can't even read. Sometimes I, yeah, I am so disgusted. We want to train Floyd. We'll train Floyd. Yeah, we just we'll we'll train we'll train him 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 I don't know. We'll take we'll take, we'll we'll take uh, uh, J Lo. We'll take we'll take J Lo. We'll take J Lo. Y'all got to slow this down for a quick second. You're mad at Floyd Floyd. We're Floyd Mayweather for what? He Floyd what? Mayweather. He married Mayweather. 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 Right. Floyd Money Mayweather, after we as a community decided we are boycotting Gucci until someone, a black designer is hired or some black or black people are consulted along on the design team or anything of that sort, and the apology was not enough. So until something of that sort happens, we as a community are boycotting Gucci. T.I. has said it, Spike Lee, Russell Simmons, Soldier Boy, and the list goes on. Flame Land Weather took his little happy short self in to Gucci with the whole TMT team. So now you brought all the ignorant black people with yeah, you. All the whole team. Whole squad. And we said, how much can we not buy? And buy up everything. <laughs> Disgusting. Come on. He just pulled his two, pants two down on us and peed all over us. And peed all over us. Yes, all yes. on top of right. us. I'm disgusted. Two things. Okay. So, one. It's not just Gucci. It's mm. Prada, Prada, Montclair, Kobe, Montclair. Yep. Right. It's uh, Katy, uh, Katy Perry. Perry. Uh -huh. uh, it's everybody. It's everybody. It's yeah. everybody. <laughs> right. so, uh, everybody. Take that back. Three things. <laughs> so it's not just them. That's point number one. Point number two is there's absolutely no way that you are that culturally unaware. Come on. That you period. would make blackface on your coats and your sweaters. You're not. Oh. You're not. No, You're that's not. Not. And the one chain. Exactly. Yeah. And then Come point on. number three. I feel like they did it on purpose. They, they don't did. want black representation. Cool. We won't represent right. you then. We no, will they find won't. Exactly. But I think what they, they is. But, exactly. the, but the point is, is, is when you are able to humiliate and downgrade and stereotype black folks, you're rewarded for that. You are. So Gucci is saying, yeah, yeah. I'm doing this, but the but the payoff is going to be huge. Yeah. huge. Right, because you're, huge. it's more of a publicity. Uh, for it's publicity. It's still publicity. It's and they publicity. said, like and the I, governor, he, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. And their, sorry, uh, their apology was so wet. And first of all, their apology was internal at first to right. everybody that worked with Gucci. It wasn't even a real apology to the people that were looking, waiting for answers. And the sweater was an $890 sweater. Mind you, so none of our people, well, obviously. Who wears a sweater over their mouth like this? Who, who wears a sweater like that? that no one even wears that type of sweater. So you knew what you were doing, 
And then you said, oh, my bad. Sorry. They've already got into it with Dapper Dan before, who was one of their representatives straight from Harlem. Mm -hmm. Woop, woop, 125th and 8th. So we've already been through this thing with Gucci. We just have been through it on a lower scale. And this previewed a long time ago. So people have been seeing it. White people have been seeing it. And wearing it and rocking it and act like it was cool. So I have a problem with Gucci. And the apology was not enough. Get some black designers of influence in there. Well, I can tell you. Know, do you guys remember during the holiday season? Um, that was Gucci, right? That was yeah. Gucci did it too? Yes. Slave ship. Slave ship. Right. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci did a slave racist. ship. Yes. A whole draft. The racist. A whole, whole draft. Like, like, right. Like you guys keep They made sure we could afford that sweater. They but were do, you, do you all remember uh, during the holiday okay. season I went into um I went into Macy. Well, I pulled up the Macy's thing, and mm -hmm. they had all of the holiday families. The white family they oh, had yeah. dogs mm -hmm. and children, mm -hmm. and then the black we family no daddy. had a no look like a single mom yeah. with the kids jumping right. up and down on the front. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know how to act. We have no manners. Like we have no daddy. Anyway. We get no pets. They've yeah. been doing this, y'all, and this is why I'm really big on having independent media <laughs> and really doing what we're supposed to do as a community because they're going to keep portraying us in this certain image in this light, and we've got to break this as best as we can. I can. Yeah. I dropped my Macy's card. As soon as, as I saw it, I was like, boom, I'm done. Yeah. Because the black family, if that was the mom, the mom was all of, like, 24. Right. Young with young three young kids young jumping up and down all the, the kids. <laughs> but one of them was And her shit got no one of her kids. Look mixed. Right? So right. here's my other thing. You said, how about a little black face? I've always had just a little bit of black face, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. And it hasn't worked out for me. I'm still black. <laughs> still black. I'm still black. I'm Becky with the good hair. Yes, that's me. I'm still, still, black. Black. Yeah, still black. Still black, right? Oh, still black. man. Yeah, it's sick. And I'm glad you took that stance with Macy. I wish more people would have uh, took a stance on that. But you just got to know, but you always no, saying it goes beyond the Virginia governor's mansion. Oh, it yeah. goes beyond the politics. Yeah. It, go, it, it imp yeah. imp yeah. impacts yeah. the yeah. fashion yeah. industry. Yeah. And those of us who have a few dollars, who have so-called made it, will be the first one to run first through one. those doors and say, Floyd it ain't Mayweather. got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Go okay, ahead. Don't Floyd Mayweather, please. Who have also been purchasing like luxury brands from black-owned businesses, too. So yeah. it's not just that. Oh. Well, I'm just saying, when you're getting disrespected, you should at least know you're getting disrespected. And sometimes that written apology, where well, the governor, he ain't even coming out in public no more. He going through tunnels yeah, under going, the building. Yeah, come on, at least accept it. That's what I will say is Gucci now, the CEO, is about to fly out and sit down with Dapper Dan and sit down. Because Dapper Dan said, I am a black man before I'm a brand. So let's be clear. If we're going to partner, let's sit down. You need to come to Harlem and talk to me about what's going on. So they're going out there to talk to him. We'll see how that goes. But take ownership, y'all. You know you're racist. We know what it is. Take ownership, Governor Gucci, proud of my Claire, Katy Perry with your racist little ugly shoes. Yeah, take ownership. So ugly. Them are they ugly? Ew, it's all so ridiculous. Hold on a second. Hold on. Smokey so Girl terrible. said. Smokey Girl said nobody mentioned Michelle. What Michelle who, do? Michelle who? You, I know you're not talking about Michelle Obama. No. I know. No. 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 She wouldn't even say, no, no, she's not. Who, wait, who, who right, Michelle? Who is Michelle? She talking about Michelle. I don't know. Who never know about Michelle? Michelle. Speaking of the Grammys, I'm who is the black girl with that. the, who's the black girl with the um, build the wall suit on? Oh, oh my oh. God. She does something like that every year. We just ignore her. We don't even know who she is. We don't even know who she is. But she does something like every year. Like, yeah. Who is, Who is she? Nobody. We don't care. Be somebody. Exactly. We don't every care. Every year she does. And that was the ugliest dress. She just, every year she does something stupid. What's her name? We don't Info? acknowledge her. Something like that. Something, something weird. How do you still keep getting invited? Who cares? We don't know. Why we she keep showing up? She's screwing the camera guy or something right. on the side. He's like, I'm going to let you in again. The she camera look, guy. Yeah. Come on, baby. I got <laughs> Come on. I got Come on. Yeah, we're not going to acknowledge her. But who is Michelle and what did Michelle do? Because she looked amazing on the, every time I miss Obama. Right. She looked great on the award show. That's what we're talking about. I don't know what else. So why they got us all looking over here? What's Trump doing over there? Right. Hello. So <laughs> you know it's Hello. a distraction. Hello. It's all a distraction. No we know that it's a distraction. On blackface, on blackface, what about the school in Georgia that had all the kids make a mask and it was blackface? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Okay, let's talk about that before we get out of there. Okay, so. The kids. Now we're talking about my babies. Oh, okay. The babies. The babies. But see, there's always a little truth in it. Because it's Black History Month. <laughs> no, listen. And there are a lot of there are a lot of white folks that, that can't stand Black History Month. So why not make mockery of it by having all of these little kids make blackface masks and do the poem by Paul Lawrence Dunbar, which is We wear the mask that grins and lies and hides our cheeks and shades our eyes as debt. We pay the human God with torn and bleeding hearts, we smile, all of that. They put all of the kids 
reciting that poem and had him put a black face mask kind of in front of him, but it looked like the minstrel piece. Honey, uh, my child would have been there. Oh, we would have yeah, my kid would have been snatched. Hey, would you say lawsuit? Way. Can you say lawsuit if my kid would have been going to that school lawsuit? My child Come on, y'all. Where's the better like taste? And I, and I know, the thing is, I, you know that there's <laughs> always somebody there that knows better. You know that there's always someone right next to the person that's making these decisions that knows better. Where are you at? Sit up, speak but up, say something. And that is, that's minstrel because they're making mockery right in front of you. Mm -hmm. They put all of those little white kids mm -hmm. and had them put on a mask mm -hmm. and had the black, the red lips and the black eye and the, the white eyes and too. recite some Paul Lawrence That's Dunbar. Sick. But the black kids did it too. They should. Uh -huh. How much you in your it. neck, you yeah. gave my daughter and my a black kid ever, ever. Right. We would have a big problem. So, so what's going to happen? On that That's what I want to know. Mean, because nothing, nothing, nothing. They are in Georgia. Ain't nothing finna happen. Because so this child's gonna cry and be conditioned. That's what just happened. <laughs> but in Denver, there's a zero tolerance when our kids it's do something. Right. And yeah. Natasha will tell you all about that. We're gonna build on it uh, shortly. They're gonna. They expelled her son. Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Said he had a ten dollar. I mean, a ten day kind of. What did they call it? Uh, it was uh, a suspension. It was a suspension. <laughs> then it was an expo. An ex it expulsion. And then it was, I mean, we're going to talk about that story too, because when it's black kids, it's zero tolerance. Right. When it's oh, them, it's always, oh, everything's I apologize. We're sorry, we didn't know it offended you, we didn't know that was offensive. Yeah. Everything was good when they did that. So yeah, we, um, all right you all, so um, before we get out of here, can we give Shay J. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, always a pleasure. Um, Patrick Key, who is running for yes. city council, he said, yes. Michelle McBride. Who's mm -hmm. Michelle Who's McBride? Do you know who that is? I don't know. Is she related to Jason McBride? No, Jason's the only one. Jason, what's your name? Right. Me too. I don't know any other McBride. We're in the community. I don't know Michelle. <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness. We'll research. I got to do some her. research. She's research. the one who set up the no, is Somebody else said, nobody right. mentioned Michelle. Everybody, who? See, we all late on the Michelle McBride. Yeah, we'll get on our thing. Michelle thing. I don't know about high. Michelle McBride. She must not be that important to us. We just zoom past. Well, I will tell you, uh, blackface <laughs> continues. And it's never in 2019. Thank you. And sometimes you got white folks in blackface and black faces and black faces and <laughs> and <laughs> black faces and white face. I, mean, I can't wash off this blackface, honey. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. I'm just saying, if you can't wash it off, it's not right. Okay, if it, if it stays on you. You keep a black face. If it doesn't stay on you, you don't have a black face. Let's just keep it like that. You should have grown it, okay? Right. It's not appropriate. Hey, right. Robbie right. Frank says something about the Gail King interview is also something ah, we should talk about. Good. What was I'm the Gail King that. interview? What about, about the governor? I'm gonna look at that. I'm gonna look at that. Uh, girlfriend, ain't uh -huh. oh, <laughs> it? Is. Is. Or, or it whole could whole be Cory Booker's thing. boo. Hey, we just hear oh, Cory Booker. I told him we better wipe up Gail. You know, we told him. We said Cory Booker was the only single black man going up in that White House. Well, no. Two days later, he said, I'm booed up. He was like, I'm booed up. Gail, hey, girl. We don't know who. Uh, I can't wait to see who comes out with who his boo is. I can't wait to see that. Well, you know, that is a southern tradition, blackface, and an American tradition that seems to not be going away yeah. anytime soon. Mm. That's not, not a tradition. Well, I will not be putting my dollar huh. in any of those since, uh, nonsense quality lines, designers, none of that. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Well, you it's know, I'm hoping fight. that someone went to brotherjeff.com. We need seven Ooh. donations. Just seven. Make this go. That's it. That's all we need. <laughs> And then if you get a chance, go to Patreon. And, and uh, go under Shay J hey, or Brother Jeff. Or Brother Jeff. I just need, more more. To get to I need 21 20. to get to my goal. So if you could just help me get there, it would be great. It would be so cool. It would be cool. Don't forget, we're going to talk more about race this Saturday at the yes. Dayton Street Opportunity Center. We're going to unpack uh, Hooded or Being Black for Dummies. So if you're in their area, just come. And if you didn't see the play, come. But don't be talking like you saw the play. <laughs> Right, just admit you haven't seen it. Like, like, JJ, I wanted to hear the conversation. But I wanted to be I could talk of about what it's like being right. black and, and all that stuff. I bought the Charlie Martin see the story, play. whatever it is. And I'm going to talk for 45 minutes drill. about nah. this play I didn't see. Nah. <laughs> You're so nah. ridiculous. Just, You're just come. Come, come, know us. come in. You know our people. We, we are cool. You know, to be black is to be 
hot and Man, under pressure the all the time. Areas. We're in Cleveland, Cleveland diamonds. Cold. We, are every, we are the gods of God. I know world. some folks we could. They might be able to put that black face on for maybe a set, but right. they can't wear it. Honey, you can't they wear this face, ready. honey. You can't they wear they this face. They ain't ready, ready for this. They ain't ready. ready. Right. They, they ain't ready. They, they don't want these problems. <laughs> they ain't <laughs> black, black. Okay? And there's a difference, for real. Well, with all that being said, if you go down, you know what it is. Yeah, you might score a knockout and wash your black face off. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a better shot. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Marie. See this? Tina Marie. Are we going to go with Tina Marie? I, no, I'm just one. I want to ask Tina what? Marie. What? She's black. Her soul is. She got black up in her soul. Her soul is She's real. had some black. We will trade her. her. Okay, so we'll take Tina Marie for. <laughs> Right. Who did we want to trade earlier? Girl. Who were we trading? She was talking we're about money, a Mayweather. We oh, what, Mayweather. A we'll trade Mayweather for Tina Marie. Hand if you can hang a week with Rick James, you get a black card. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. Yeah, some, yeah, some people will turn you into black. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, one more time for Shay J. Thank right you, guys. You Thank you. Go down, go down, swing. You just might score a knockout. Rumble, young man and woman and people. Rumble. Rumble.